we mentioned that exclusion from the China trade negotiations and talking about China trade, Washington has been pressing, pressuring Beijing to buy more than $1 trillion in goods and services, but U.S. chip makers say they've told President Trump they want no part in this agreement. They are concerned it'll give Beijing too much control over their companies. Joining us now, Yahoo Finance's Akiko Fujita with the latest on this. Akiko, what is the argument here on the part of the chip makers? Yeah, so the concern that U.S. shipmakers have and any kind of quota related to the purchase of semiconductors is one of capacity. Ramping up production means increased costs. Increased costs uh, means that a lot of these companies will have to move or open new factories over in China. And the concern on that front is that opening up new factories over in China means uh, more influence from the Chinese government and more uh, reliance on domestic demand. They're at a time when a lot of these semiconductors have been diversifying away from China. Now, so far, the Chinese have agreed to buy $30 billion in Chinese chips or American chips over a six-year period. That is more than double the capacity of American semiconductors right now. And a senior executive at one of these companies telling the Wall Street Journal that this kind of request would distort the market and simply isn't sustainable. Uh, the reluctance for these companies to sign on board with President Trump's request there certainly points to the complexities of hammering out this U.S.-China trade deal. And it is another reason why we could see this negotiation drag on for weeks, even months. And it all comes as a new study illustrates the toll the U.S.-China trade war has uh, had on the U.S. economy so far. A new study out from the National Bureau of Economic Research is saying that the higher tariffs and the higher costs associated with have led to a $7.8 billion loss so far. All right, Akiko, thank you. Um, and this this chip uh, dispute or this chip concern is sort of emblematic again of how complicated this situation is, right, Gotti? I mean, this it seems like it's it's difficult to believe that we will still get something done in the short term when you have all these kinds of uh, yeah. industry-specific situations. This is what happens when you try to do a managed trade deal rather than a really a free trade deal, right? And it's kind of, I, I mean, it, I would say ir ironic that, uh, that we have a supposedly conservative president trying to impose something that would... Uh, basically mean a quota system uh, on China's part. And I think quotas is something we want to move away from in, in trade. And that's exactly what the manufacturers are concerned about. Well, the irony is that be careful what you wish for, because if you're forcing China to buy more of this product from U.S. Uh, manufacturers, they're saying you're going to have to produce in China to accomplish that. Well, who, who's doing the wishing here? I mean, I don't. the U.S. semiconductor industry never went and said, uh, dear Mr. President, could you achieve some protections for our industry? I mean, they were pretty happy. Uh, this is one of this is one area where China needs what we uh, what, what American producers uh, put out there. It's not a case where they're making their own for cheaper and we, we're fighting to get into that market. So, I mean, this is like exhibit 397 for why markets and investors are desperate for this trade dispute to end or at least come, come to some resolution that just puts it off the headlines for at least a little while. Come on. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like there's any chance of that happening well, I mean, in the short term. Uh, uh, you never know with Trump. Uh, we, I mean, you know, all the indications are some kind of deal is coming by now. You know, the expectation is now by late April, maybe. I've been saying, you know, look for the first half of 2019. Um, let's hope Let's hope this meeting with Xi, President Xi and President Trump finally materializes and we can get something done. Well, although the latest reports are that the meeting... Uh, the Chinese would like the meeting to just be a formality. They want all, pretty much, so all of the substance of the talks to be done before that handshake That's the happens. way it used to work. Right. It that's, that's the way some of the meetings used to work. That's how diplomacy right. is supposed to yeah, work. Yeah, and it doesn't sound like that's what President Trump would like to have happen. Uh, no, but uh, Trump, has, Trump has to get this done somehow. I mean, if he doesn't, uh, this is going to be hanging over markets for the rest of his presidency, uh, and it, the rest of his presidency is going to get tougher. So if he doesn't resolve this, he's going to be giving voters another reason to vote against him in 2020. You know, he's getting pressure, too, from the agriculture sector. But a second, yeah. But